everyone, I just thought I'll show you this tag. I mean, I haven't done a tag for a while, um, quite a while actually. And, um, oh, hello, Glenda. Hello. What style did we say? Would you say it was Art Deco? Art Deco, yeah. It's this. Uh, let me just see if I've got another piece of it here. Yeah, it's that um, embossing folder that I got the other day. So, yeah, Art Deco. I don't know if you can see the pattern on that, like that. And then what I've done is I've just done it in uh, two-tone greens. And for a change, I've stuck the stick pin here at the top. Um, and this little saying, which is, uh, friends are God's way of taking care of us. Um, added these little diamante things. That's a, these. It was that one in between these on a, neck, uh, on a bracelet sorry, from Primark's. Some little green trim which I got sent the other day, and um, some lace. And I've used these flowers from the artificial flowers for a change, uh, the leaves from the artificial flowers. Um, did cut one in half and then stickled those, put in one of those diamante things there as well. Scrape that off. Oops. Ew. Put the earring in. And then this is a shell um, brooch that somebody sent me, and it just, I, it just went with it, so I thought, oh, well, Go with the flow. <laughs> um, but it's green shell. Well, it's been coloured green, should I say, but made from shell. And she does have a flower underneath, a big flower on the hat. So um, ideally it went there. Um, so I just thought I'll show you that. I'll take that out a little bit. So you can see it. Oh, it's not focusing. Oh, it says, I think. And um, there you go. Do love this pattern. And this lady was just taking off the internet uh, free images. So there you go. Uh, I've also done some of these. I've embossed some card and just try and. This is pink and purple uh, with the gears. And then I did the clocks, just using different colours. Because I am going to be doing a clock album. Um, so I'm just trying things out at the moment. I do like those. And that is just doing two or three different colours in the background and then using your pad to go over the top because it's raised. When the raised effect is, it uh, blackens it. If you, I used black soot on mine. Like that. I do like that one. Might do something else, something else with it. I don't know at the moment. Um, I think that's it. So I hope you like that. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I can't even talk. You'd think I've been on the booze again. Losing it, Glenda. <laughs> but there you go. I enjoyed doing it. But I've never done a green one, I don't think. I can't remember ever doing a green one. Um, I am going to come back and show you this, but I'll probably do it tomorrow. Uh, this is a Christmas tree, and it's only made from paper. So, uh, it needs two more putting on smaller pieces. I haven't done those yet. I will do those later on, and I'll come back tomorrow and show you how to do that. You can hang things from it. I might do that. But it's, uh, it's just quite a nice Christmas tree. So there you go. I'm going to show you that as well. Also, I've got these. This is a, a bag. can be used... I mean, I've just used scrap paper at the moment. But there's the bag. Sorry, like that. So you can see it right way around. That is the um, shape of the bag. Or you can just use it like that. Put some uh, material over the edge, like a, a binding or something. Put handles on it or whatever. Using one piece of paper which I shall also come back and show you how to do. And then again is the box. And this is a box. I've lined it in the bottom with some, not stuck it down yet, uh, with some uh, chipboard. Also made, the base is made from one piece of paper and that's also made from one. And they just slot on like that. And you've got yourself a box. I mean, you can actually, if you cut them the right size, put your chipboard on the sides as well. 
you can reinforce it with um, tape on the inside and then put a cover in it or whatever you want to do with it. If not, keep as is, as is should I say, and uh, you've got a nice box. I'll come back and show you that. Also coming up will be the tutorial with the laces um, and ribbons. I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, for those that don't know, of course. And apart from that, I think that is it. Just emboss some more of these. Clocks and keys and whatever. To test out some colouring. So that's it for now. I shall speak to you soon. See you later. Say bye, Glenda. <laughs> bye, Glenda. <laughs>